Man, I don't really fuck with these niggas. Man, I don't really fuck with these niggas. I don't really fuck with these niggas. I don't fuck with these niggas. Man, I don't really fuck with these niggas. Man, I don't really fuck with these niggas. I don't really fuck with these niggas. I don't fuck with these niggas. Man, I don't really fuck with these niggas. I don't fuck with these niggas. Evening, guys. Hello. Hey, I'm uh, Sergeant Carl Winslow. And you are? Kenny. Kenny Carmichael. Hey, Kenny. How you doing? Uh, this is my partner, Jack Evans. Jack. Hey, you mind if I join you fellas? I could sure go for a cruller. Actually, we were just leaving. Oh, come on. What's your hurry? Take a seat. All right, Sergeant. Uh, I'll have a cruller, please, and a cup of coffee. Black. So what's this about? Well, uh, you two work the Burlington Heights District, don't you? Yeah. Did you work the evening shift last night? Yeah, that's right. Say, did you happen to pull over a 77 Dodge Monaco? The driver was a black teenager. Yeah. Ran a stop sign. It was failure to signal. Whatever. Who are you, the activist on the force? No, I'm a father on the force. And that kid was my son. Look. I can see you being upset and all, but hey, it was your kid that messed up. So don't try and take it out on me, all right? No, it's not all right. And do you know why it's not all right, Evans? Because I think that you rousted my son. No way. He fit the description of a carjacker we've been looking for. That will not cut things. Because I am familiar with all the outstanding carjacking bulletins, and not one suspect even remotely resembles my son. Come on, give me a break. It's dark. It's a black guy. Oh, case closed. Lock him up. You know, bottom line, your kid was in the wrong part of town. The wrong part of town? Yeah. Oh, so what are you saying? That black kids aren't allowed in white neighborhoods. Come on. They wouldn't be there unless they were looking for trouble. And you better talk to your kid. He gave me a lot of lip. Oh? Yeah. Is that why you made him get out of his car? Is that why you forced him to lie down? Is that why you cuffed him? Uh, here you go. Thank you. Look, I've had enough of this. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not finished with you yet, Evans. Uh, look, Sarge, if your son had just told us he was a cop's kid, it would have been no problem. So what do you say? That you only harass black kids whose parents aren't cops? I didn't say that. You didn't have to say that. Because the point is that you two harassed my son because he's black. <laughs> You can't prove that. But I can file a complaint. And you can believe that I'm going to be sure that there is an investigation. Well, go ahead. It's our word against your kids. Bye. Just a second, Evans. You know, I really don't know how that badge stays on because it's pinned to slime. This is a very special episode, and uh, this episode goes out to the uh, racial profiling police. Not all police are bad police, but the police that just think that all black people sell drugs, all black people doing something wrong when they're coming up in the state. Uh, we got rights too, whether you know it or not, and this episode is dedicated to anybody that's been personally violated on the side of the interstate, violated in your state or whatever. But uh, my man Ronnie Don going to lead it off and let you know what's going on today. And well, what's going on today is, man, uh, after all this stuff that, you know, us as a people been through, man, you know, uh, uh, you can say oppression, you can say we getting our rights and this, that, this, that, but it seems like no matter what, we ain't never going to be treated like U.S. citizens, you know what I'm saying? And that's why no, I don't No, you're not going to get treated like white people. Well, go ahead and say they it, They say brother. U.S. citizens. <laughs> they the U.S. citizens. You got to tell us U.S. citizens. They, they don't consider us 
to be of this country. We're it's only three-fifths man, right? That's No, nah, I'm saying, they don't consider us to be, like, they treat us like nothing, bro. And then when we act like that, then yeah. it's a problem. Like, everything, every every action has a reaction. And our reaction is pissed the fuck off, mad, violated, and because, all of that. Like, fuck, like, niggas, we, we on some shit like, yo, like, fuck everything, bro, because it's like it's illegal to be cool in America. Well, let's say the Deep South or shit, the West Coast, all that shit. Let's go to Rodney King and shit. And then people get mad when, when people start to riot and all that. Now, they're animals and all this stuff. Like, it's clear indication that it's not fair, right? So when a woman is pulled over by police, right, she can ask for a woman officer. She can say, I want a woman officer to, to search me, this, that, this, that, because from pa the past actions of law enforcement, yes, they have always mistreated women. Mm -hmm. So now they're protecting women. But with black people, right, we're not going to be treated right on the highway with police. When we pulled over and jumped like that, it's like we consider the threat. We already guilty before anything. They already come out with it. Hey, I'm going to search this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, Wait, they people doing the same stuff that we doing, the same pettiness, the petty things that we're doing. They people do the same thing, but they don't have to ride around uh, uh, nervous all the time and stuff like that. They feel like this is actually their country. But with us, but with us, it's like you already you already did something. I know you did something. They violate our rights. They pull us over. It's like I got I got pulled over for for DWD. That's what I call it, driving with dreads. You know what I'm saying? And it's a shame because of what dreads stand for, for one, that we can't have a certain hairdo. It's like white people have their hair down and wear it how they want. They comfortable. You know, look at this brother right here. He cool. Look at this brother. He cool. Oh, they're targets. Oh, oh, how you get but, this cool? But you, but you don't. Um, in some places, that you came off, you came to video the officers. Because some states, they allow you not to video. you got to tell the officers if you have cameras in the car. And they control it. That's in Mississippi. They fell down there too. I'm from there. Yeah, but 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 check this out. Why we can't have a call for a black officer to uh, police us? Like it should be illegal for white people to police black people because we've already seen that they don't handle us right. You feel me? Yeah. They don't. They not gonna treat us fair. And all these people marching and protesting, talking about some oh stop killing us. They're not gonna stop killing us. You feel me? Because dude, no matter what. The, it, we always going to be at a disadvantage because you got the people who oppressed you that it policing you. So they're not going to do the right thing by you. Even even in places like Chicago and stuff, people tell me like, hey, when, when everything's starting to die down, oh yeah, the police going to shoot somebody because they want the stuff to keep going. You know what I'm saying? Like they keeping up this carnage and keeping us against each other and they got us against our women. They, they really messing up a lot of shit with, with us as a people, bro. And what we saying is that if you see somebody on the side of the road getting mm -hmm. searched by the police. What they should do? They, they should pull over with them. And, and especially if it's a one black individual by herself. Or two. Because you never know. Because somebody need to witness the bullshit that the police do. Yeah. I agree. And like I was telling him before we start running the podcast. Uh, as bad as I wanted to get on here and say fuck the police like NWA a hundred times. All police ain't bad police. There's some good cops out there too. But I'm talking about them roadside warriors that's looking for the drugs and all of that. Your dog howl for cocaine. You want to send them through the car and all this and that. Um, it's a proper procedure to getting a person out the car. And I know we got violated Saturday and all of that on the side of the road. Man went through all the stuff. Want to toss stuff around. You know what I mean? But you gotta put be, it back. Yeah, you got to be respectable when you're destroying somebody's car for something that you... Thank you, smell, or you gonna pursue it that you, you, you. First thing when he walked up to the car, he said, I smell weed. I was like, nah, that's your salami smelling ass breath, cracker. <laughs> like, you know, he stuck his head in the car and said, I smell weed. No, the fuck you don't. I've been asleep. Niggas been in here farting and everything. Fuck you talking about. He smell ass. He smell for breeze. <laughs> yeah, that's what he smelled for real. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, that bullshit, man, getting pulled over. But, but the man asked me where I worked at. He asked me where we was going. He asked us all kind of bullshit ass questions. Bro. I want people to know when they when you in the car together, when they separate you, they want to know y'all on one accord. To black people, 
this is the way they get to try to lock you up. That's when they go ask them one thing, where you headed? Because you got to know a, where you headed. I'm because like, it's not a crime until you lie. You feel me? Yeah, and then when you, black people, you don't have to be nervous of the officer, but you got to know your rights as an individual. And a lot of us think we don't have rights when the police pull us over. You know what I mean? You, don't, you have a right to remain silent before he even tell you that. Also, I don't talk to the police. I look them in the eyes. You want my ID? All right. I know that shit is all a business. We learned that on the side of the road this weekend. Police didn't have no business cards. They had no us. business cards, which is supposed to be illegal. Yeah. And I asked for the man business card. He said, <laughs> he didn't even want to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, he didn't want to talk to me at all. He kept, leg kept fidgeting. I started talking to him because I'm like, yo, you nervous. Yeah, he got real nervous. Make you comfortable. Cause you nervous. He put his hand by his gun. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they thought they was gonna find something. Ain't nothing in that cup but computers and cameras, motherfuckers. And we gonna do a show. Computer geeks. Comedy road warriors. That's what we do. But I guess the way we look just lines us up for the racial profile. You feel me? Everybody gotta do drugs or everybody gotta be trying to get drugs past the police. So how they separate y'all? Like, do they try to no, answer no, no. different questions? They pull one out of the car first. Yeah. One out of the car. Yeah. Which was bullshit. He wanted everybody to be uncomfortable in the situation. Yeah. Because like, he put him in the back, told me, get that man license and registration. Okay. I don't know where the shit at, but he just said, open the glove compartment. He says license and registration in there. So you just mentally played me right quick. How should you react in a situation like that? Keep your composure. Keep your composure because as black people, they I think they want to shoot us quick. They get stripes and badges. They everybody uncomfortable when recorded. I'm uncomfortable when recorded. But the one cop had on the camera, I don't know if it was on, but we standing there. We could be on the TV show right now. You know what I mean? Niggas like, man, them niggas cool. Did you, said, did, did you shout out the Cognac boys while you was on? I no, told him to check out the podcast. Oh, man, I don't fuck way. with them. And they well, you're gonna they gonna learn about it now. Cognac was podcast. Man, he ain't gonna look at no fucking podcast. He don't they listen. They don't support us. It was three white cops too. Yeah, one three, cop never said three nothing. Three white cops. Why, Acknowledge why, nothing. Why every time? I, listen, I have never been pulled over, and it's been like when they pull up. Remember, remember when we was on uh in uh Cobb, where was it? Cobb, Cobb County. Cobb they was County. For somebody they had living. they had eight. They pulled us over because when I pulled out of. The uh, the establishment, which is a black-owned establishment, which they is just waiting. White cops is just waiting on people to leave this black establishment and drive drunk down the street. They waiting on it, right? Now, at the white establishments, they don't do that shit. So it, was, it was damn near three cars. Three cars. It was three cars. Me, pulled, Monty, my boss from the Blue Bar, and us. Yeah. They pulled my boss over, and, and Monty kept going. Because yeah. he said he was the nigga that was riding dirty. Yeah. <laughs> but they got us. That was crazy. True. You set us up, mind you. Yeah. <laughs> we go call him Jay. Yeah, we, we <laughs> you know, but but let me tell you, let me tell you what happened. Like why every time white folks wanna uh white cops wanna pull us over, we got to get out the car. Because you want you want a chance to shoot me. When I got out the car, that that particular time, the man, as soon as I get out and I'm talking to him and stuff, I'm talking with the, to these people as men. You know what I'm saying? When police pull me over, I don't talk to no police like fuck the police. Now I'm like talking to you as a man, cause I'm forget that badge. We both we both got a heartbeat, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We both men. You feel me? We both trying to provide for our families, right? I want to make so, it home safe as you do, yeah. motherfucker. So it's eight police officers out there, right? Yeah. Eight, all of them look alike. Let me be clear, they all look just alike. They all look like they ready to shoot a black man, right? So I get out the car because I ain't scared of them. And I'm like, yo, if something happens, something happened. So I look the police in his eye. First thing he do is grab my arm and try to twist my shit. Talking about some, uh, try to tw twist my arm. Bro, you could have broke my motherfucking arm, bro. So then if you break my arm, I did something. So, oh, like that. Okay, now, now, yo, it's a scuffle or whatever. Man, these folks is real sinister, man. And they not here to protect and serve black people. You feel me? They here to uphold the order for they self, you feel me? And this shit got to stop with this racial profile and shit, man. I want to say to her brother, I want to start a challenge. Each one, teach one, or each one, help one. When you see a brother out there by himself pulled over by all the police, three police, one brother out there by himself. Somebody pull over and just check, make sure everything all right. You yeah, know like, like, but make sure all your shit together. Cause yeah. like, some of you niggas will pull over. <laughs> pull over smoking the blunt. Got a dime bag hey, in your house. Hey, and hey, now your ass up the road. Hey, bro, you good, bro? Make sure you ain't got no L, your L straight. That yeah, your license straight. Yeah. Cause if cause if you ain't got no felonies, make sure none of those things. If everything's straight in your vehicle, pull over. 
and your sister. And make and sure you. that brother's straight. Don't hop out I always, car, like, I always support kid. your other brother. I always do it. Yeah, man. Like, I mean, it's bad enough when we support each other in uh, business, point blank, period. Pull well, up him. Okay, you know what I'm saying? But we don't support each other a lot of times. We always got something negative to say about something first. Let me tell you something with, 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 with us as the people. We got to support each other and we got to give each other the benefit of the doubt. Most black businesses get a bad rap on the internet and all this and that. And people go somewhere. I never not go past my spot and give them a chance. All my people, I'm the same color as you. We got the same uniform. I will constantly support you. Hey, everybody, man, we're going to pull up. With this new cognac that I brought to the That's table. Right. Nice, Moo cow man, tonight. Fucking bottle, man. Let me hold that. Yeah. Uh, a designer bottle. Moo cow. Shit, Shout man. out Benzino. He the first one turning us on to that KT Visions, man. They turned Shout us on to, to that, that Moo cow. Cause Moo cow came through and gave us some shit called 90 proof one time. Uh, well, fuck with my boy proof. KT. Nah, I don't want that 90 proof. Can we bust it wide open, goddamn? Yeah, we can bust it wide open. What is, is this a Moo cow? Whatever that is. Look like a panther. <laughs> like a panther. Is this a Moo cow? Yeah. We're about to try a new cognac tonight, people. Ahead. So we're in the middle, man. We gotta see. Yeah, it. don't man, bust it open, man. <laughs> yeah, you had a rough week, nigga. Bust yeah, it open. Yeah, I, I did have a world. Treat it like a scripper. Go on, bust it open. Yeah. Oh, ooh. Look at them titties. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, yeah. Okay, okay. Now you got the weed nails. Look how the weed nails go in. Hey, man. I hope y'all. <laughs> I hope y'all been tuning in, man. Make sure y'all go watch ooh. watch episode eight, one through nine. Ooh. Nah, nigga, one through, one through nigga, nine. Pull your own troubles, nigga. And shout out to all the female comedians rocking with us, man. Yeah. Doing what we doing. Yeah, I appreciate that. Supporting us, you know what I mean? Man, I love women. I love women's, 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 women's. That's pretty good. Moo cow. Smooth. Pretty smooth. Right. Well, I'm saying, man, only the finest, goddamn. Let's talk about Chris Brown, baby. Wet. Wet. What are that talking about? Wet. Wet. We're going to talk about Chris Brown. We talking about his career became from being a child star into a crackhead. You know what I'm saying? Some different things Chris Brown doing in the streets now. You know what I'm saying? He he wearing some fake hair and everything. Hey, that nigga will dance and kick you in the face. At Chris Brown will whoop your ass. Yeah, for real. They will whoop your ass. Chris Brown ain't about that. Chris like, Brown will whoop your ass. You know why I'm gonna whoop your ass? Right. Cause I'm gonna help him. Cause I'm from Virginia too, nigga. You ain't about to shit on no light skin Virginia. Fuck Virginia. Yeah, Even if I don't like light skin, nigga. Fuck you up. I'm from Virginia, too. Yeah, yeah, I, know, I apologize. I ain't shit about no light skin. Like go ahead, brother. finish your little topic, let's, man. Let's, let's, Chris, let's watch your mouth. Talk about Virginia. I'm, 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 yeah, yeah. Okay, Chris Brown got a new album talking about pills, hydrocodone, and all that. He said he ain't on them drugs. Clearly, you can look at uh, him. He, cra he more crackhead than Prince. Okay? Hey, listen here. Cra listen. I don't know if he cracked out or whatever, but that nigga is definitely crazy. He said, and I quote, If I love you, I'm going to stalk you until I'm done with you. He said that shit. My daddy said it to my mama. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Let yeah. me tell you something. If a man stalk you, ladies, that means you got some good pussy. Thank you. You need brother, to keep you. your pussy to a minimum. Snatch away when he's about to climax. That fucks up everything. Uh, every now and then... Masturbate to give yourself a little dry technique when a nigga fuck you. That way you won't have niggas stalking you. Some of you women like the thrill of a nigga being in the bushes. You hear the bushes rattle when you come home. I used to be with stalkers, so I know you know. Like y'all niggas, y'all niggas need to stop hitting everything raw. Like, hold on, brother, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That like, disclaimer serious, bro, don't like, count for us. There's nah, something bro. in this we, we, guy. We, hey, I told my little cousin, yo, like if. If if you hit raw, bro, it's hard to go back to using the rubber. So I don't know what you're talking about. I, 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 hey, listen, that I wear shit. rubbers, ladies. I oh, wear rubbers. Goodness. Okay. Now what my man saying this for ladies. Now if you ain't never had a crazy nigga, you know how your pussy is, okay? If you can't mm -hmm. never find a good man, you know how your pussy is, okay? You can't be in this discussion, okay? Rihanna got some fire ass pussy. She had three crazy niggas on her ass. Drake. Meek Mill. Meek I want Mills to... was not crazy over her. He just did what he oh, was supposed Meek to. Meek Mill was crazy over her. He wasn't crazy over no Rihanna. Rihanna got some fire pussy, bro. Man, she can have a fire pussy. How do you know? You fucked Rihanna one day after a hole in the wall? I wish. I wish. I wish yeah. you could just touch me or blow a kiss towards my wife. I don't want none of them bitches in the public eye. I want a bitch that look just like that bitch that's in the public eye. And they out here, too. Yeah, you damn right. I'll take a Rihanna well, look alike. I'll take a Nicki Minaj look alike. Because them bitches humble. You get one of them bitches, man. Nikki look like she got some dry dry, and that fake ass butt look like it smell like flat tire hair. I like it. I bet she smell good. I, I would tell you. Man, man, that fake ass butt that. smell like a new basketball. Fuck that. I know a girl that's shitting on him now is Carly B. Carly Car B, I wife her. Carly B. Carly B, I would suck her toes and eat her pussy from the back. Carly B, I'm out there. I'm single, girl. What's up? 
My number is 662 Man, shut the fuck up. Okay. Again, your number. Right. Cardi B. Man, it's gonna be like a gay dude call you. His name Cardi. No, 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 Cardi no. B. His no, name no, Cardi no. Bernard. Groupie, you, man. you a groupie, man. What you groupie? What's, what's right. a group? What's you a group? You, you. A bitch ass from the back just because he Cardi B. Cardi B bad. That's a good topic, man. Shout out to Shaq Double D talking about male groupies. Niggas the nigga that knock groupies. a bitch down to get to another nigga to get an autograph <laughs> or a picture with him. Yeah. Fuck you, male groupie hey, niggas, man. Hey, you. Thirty six points. 16 rebounds, 12 assists. I know all your stats. That's a male group. It's a male group. No, hold on, hold on. Let's talk about LeBron's uh, father-in-law. What's the name? No, no, no we're mom. talking about male groupies. Good. We're talking about male groupies. You are the definite. This nigga dressed like an Oscar award. I got my yeah, rocket jacket on, baby. Nigga, that shit is. That shit I is, is the tire. Don't no, show my back, back in the jacket, baby. Ain't nigga, you got a turtleneck on? What the fuck? Oh, this nigga. Hey, one time. This I got nigga. my police what? This nigga. This, nigga this was a police nigga. episode. I wore police what? Yeah, I see the look. I got, a, I got a vest on under this. Bro. First of all, my neck get cold, brother. Don't choke on my neck. Yeah, you got to get them vitamins. Yeah. You got to get them vitamins so you can get rid of that disease. Hold on, nigga. Hold on. I got a uh, strap. Blue up. Star Ointment don't strap work up. inner. It work outward, right? Nah, that, them fake ass chains got to dust come on, his nigga, neck. Come on, nigga. Come on, nigga. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> this shit eating through that turtle. <laughs> <laughs> <I> got, <laughs> I'm going to get a green uh, turtle neck next time. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. <laughs> That nigga's ain't gonna get a green turtle neck next time. You stupid. You stupid, <laughs> boy. Kayak oh, Boys Podcast, thank you for tuning this in. This nigga man. neck the color of gunmen. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga neck turning the turning the metal. Let's talk about D Bo. Damn, damn. Let's get to the point, man. Okay, let's get to the point. Oh shit, my nigga. We, ta we talking about the wet wet challenge. The women wanna know how they can get soaking wet. Every nigga been doing videos of them going down on ladies, keeping them wet. They been doing what? videos for real? Hell yeah. It's nah, that nigga be watching porn hub. He lying. Ain't nobody on what is, your, what is all y'all technique of keeping the girl with? Hey man, some spit just came up. That's no just my drink, bro. I'm gonna fuck you up on camera. Hey man, that nigga spit. That nigga spitting out <laughs> fruit flies. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna talk this. I'm gonna talk this way. Check my goddamn liquor, man. Let, let me finish yeah, it up. Go ahead. Okay. Let, 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 me, let me finish. What are some of y'all techniques of keeping the girl away? I put my finger in the asshole to the second line. Do you suck the finger afterwards? No, you know, nigga, it was the asshole. <laughs> Who does that? Yeah, that means you make bad judgment in life. Anything come out the asshole, you still make a sandwich afterwards. No, I don't do okay. nothing with that finger. I hold that finger till I finish fucking like this. Do you still so pick up your baby? I, 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 <laughs> when I grab her ass with two fingers after that, it, his finger still be like that. Now, if your child come in the room, do you still pick her up or you go wash your hands first? You wash your hands. Okay, okay. all right. We just asked you great Hey, man, questions. normally the you, chicks... What's your child doing over there if you got your finger in a bitch ass? That's you. I'm asking you a question. Do you feel no. Sam? Sometimes I play with girls. And you just set me up. You worse than the police, man. You ain't shit. shit. You hear me? Damn. Nigga, set me up. Do you still grab your kids after you put your finger in the head? You trying to find out some shit. God, let me tell you my technique of keeping the girl wet wet. First well, of all... I didn't say keeping the girl wet wet. Listen here. Yeah. First of all, I pick up a bill first. Let her know, like, baby, I'm about to pay this okay. motherfucker. Right. Then I'm gonna tell, call her baby daddy, like, man, you want to pay the child support is on me. Wait, wait. Then I'm gonna pick her kids up for school, like I always. You might have made that you nigga wet on that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the last ah! that nigga ah! got wet. He was like, oh <laughs> shit, you gonna pay my child support? Like, God damn. Keep that nigga around. The last I'm gonna let her ride my face. You got a face for ass cheeks. Yeah, it looked like you just let somebody ride your face and didn't yeah. watch it. All your, all your little chin hairs got little yeah, dinkle yeah. berries on them. First of all, ladies, I'm single if you want to get down with that. What would you do? Nigga, you, you got know? alopecia face. Goddamn, nigga. What would I do to keep a bitch wet? Listen, nine times out of ten, the chicks that I'm fucking with, they all into a nigga, so I don't really got to do much. You, know you feed saying? her vegetables. I ain't got, After yeah. they have sex with each other. Yeah, I, get that, I get that, bro. <laughs> I give her some alkaline water. You, <laughs> you, really do, you, you really do want to cleanse her before you find out. Yeah, because them bitches the eat McDonald's and shit, and you mm -hmm. goddamn smell their shit, and you like, goddamn. Bitch, all they senses the wall a little, little bit, so you... Want to cleanse that body before you eat the pussy? I think. Make my face you know, this is Professor Rhonda Don. Yeah. He normally enlightens me on. So, is she drinking water? <laughs> you go in the bathroom after is there a strong piss scent? Um, you <laughs> Did know, she or, wake up with eye boogers? Yeah, tell me. So, have you seen her drawers when she took them off? Is there a crusty or is there a hard <laughs> foundation yeah, in those drawers? Like, yeah, Does it smell Professor. like water? Then he told me, make sure she drink cranberry juice. Cranberry. She ain't drinking the real cranberry juice. Clear not the, not the tip. Track out. Not the 40% cranberry juice. What if your girl keeps catching urine tract infection weekly? What, what is wrong with her? 
she that means she holding she holding a piss. Oh, okay. that means you ain't burning her either. She got uh, bladder infections. Okay, you know bladder infections. That was deep. For okay. shout out to all the dudes that don't know why your girl puts it over smell salty. Well, uh, yeah, I mean. If you want to know if your woman cheating on you, just you smell like sit bad back. Acid. When your woman come in and try to argue with you for no reason at all, yeah. that's another nigga's energy that she had put up in her. So let me break it down to y'all. Break it down. When a woman cheats with another dude, right, they think they can be like, oh, yeah, we can be like men. But, bitch, another nigga didn't put his ghost in your ass. And so you come home and you can't stop arguing with your dude because that nigga ghost is like, fuck that nigga. And he put his energy into you. So now you just want to talk shit with dicky ass breath to your man. When you come home and shit, Women you're like, man, this bitch is crazy. No, her pH balance is off because she been fucking another Hey, this is how wow. my man keep girls wet wet. He put his ghost in another girl, and I he put his ghost in and they stay wet. Cameraman, man, you want something to drink? Yes. Ah! <laughs> I knew that nigga was thirsty. That nigga said, mm, yes. Here you go, cameraman. No. Yes. Cameraman got to reach in. You put your that hand that in the air right here. Hey, come right here. Sit on Friday. Yeah. Reach your hand in there and get it. No, reach your hand in there. Yeah, there you go, cameraman. <laughs> cameraman. That's how we do. Cameraman. Get you, <laughs> get you something. Bring that cognac back, baby. Yeah, bring that cognac back. That's how we do a nice shot. Get right. Mm -hmm. Pass it back in front of the camera, nigga. That's how we do. Cameraman mm -hmm. got to get right, too. Yeah, yeah, shit. You on <laughs> set? Yeah, and hey, look. My topic was um, why, when we so successful, we date somebody of the opposite uh, opposite of our success, meaning that you're on a whole another plateau and you can help somebody and you'll reach back to help them, but we end up falling in love with them, losing every goddamn thing. Was that question too long? Yeah, I right, let me say this: Why, when we so successful, we'll date somebody of lesser value for our happiness? Okay, uh, I like girls that work at McDonald's. Because they appreciate you better. But they are you, you very successful? Do you count yourself as very successful? We will always date that success, that failure, because she will bring our lives up to different spectrums. If I can use the what, what are they were? Spectrums. Spectrums? So yeah, that's why I said spectrums. Okay, anybody want to chime in and say if he used that word right? No, no. Cognac Boys. Three at gmail. Y'all ain't gonna disrespect me. Listen, this nigga, I think that nigga had a word. big word that hurt. is remedial. Listen, <laughs> I dated a girl that worked at Burger King. She treated me like a king. She got a nice body, nice <laughs> ass, everything. She treats you like a king. She working, was happy working. that I got a room in Buckhead. I got that bitch two free drinks. This bitch saying you are successful. You know what I'm saying? Are you successful? Do you feel well, successful, brother? Of course, always, brother. Look at me. I, I took a picture with three white women on one night. Nigga, no, no, that's see. successful? Do you no, no. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Right. Success is you taking a picture with white women? I said black women, they were light skinned. Hey, you can't do that. <laughs> Ron the Don. Presence. Oh, oh, I said light skinned. I told you. I light told skin, you. it don't uh, matter, bro. A couple of episodes light ago, skin, dark that nigga skin. said. I love black women. White women. I like black. That's what your line is. Hold on, man. I love black women. And he successful because he took a picture with three white women. And, and I stole you, it out their purse at hey, the same time. I want you to do this for me, brother. When you leave here tonight, I want you to. Put your emergency brake on when you're on the interstate and just slam into the back of a QT18 with her. <laughs> Kill your goddamn self. Success yeah. ain't yeah. found in no goddamn white woman. Even no, though, I, you, I, know, you know, that's, even that's, though all that's, that's the uh, the uh, the, uh, the uh, Marcus Garvey versus W. E. D. Du Bois shit, right? See, W. E. D. Du Bois is just one of us to the, the, the blend in with white people, right? And not have our own identity. Good Lord, man. We Mark, hold on, Marcus Garvey. <laughs> Marcus Garvey was on some shit like, man, fuck them. We different. You feel me? Yeah. So, like, like your success doesn't lie in the people who oppressed you. you I'm, I'm sorry. You gotta okay. When I get I rich, I'm going to drill me a white bitch. It's necessary. But you I've seen all the black stars do it. Yeah. But you're supposed to drill them because... Every yeah. black star that women like... Got a white woman. And then the girl from Burger King. White men, girl from Burger King. White men they would treat you way better. Listen, oh, no, no, oh, white no. men oppressed us. Mm -hmm. So when you get to your success and shit like that, and you get you a white girl, and you feel like you want to drill her and shit like that, like that's kind of like Listen, revenge. Nobody want a white girl. My I ain't girl wants to stay with an old married. No, I'm just saying that's revenge. Like, cause white white dudes fear. Listen. They don't know what you packing down there, but in their mind, mm -hmm. society fucked them up so bad, they like, oh, this nigga got a 92 inch but my, dick. But my girl at Burger King. He gonna fuck this bitch. Why, why, guys stay, why guys stay girls that's less than them? Because it shows more appreciation. If you date a girl that's higher than you on the same level, sometimes she's not motivated on your dreams. 
Sometimes wow. she get scared that you finna achieve more than what she trying to achieve. So wow. she wanna tear it down. So when you deal with a girl that work at Burger King, she like, shit, we gonna make it together. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be more than fries. I'm hey, trying to be more than burgers. Hey, I'm trying to be more than this is one time for Mississippi boy coming out of his oh, dick okay, and man. Hey, I'm that nigga answered the question educational tonight. Education. I fuck you. Hey. Fuck you know that cognac boy's toast on that. I'm gonna give you some dab out the word. Okay. But cognac boy's toast on oh, goddamn yeah, niggas in the boy. Hey. I'm glad we rubbing off on you. Cause, Cause we gotta be real with each other. Most men want to be with women that's less than cause we kings. In order for us no, to I'm be a kings, guy, bro. in order for us king. in order for us to be kings and, and, and also and also lions on the back of my jacket. You know what I'm saying? That's that new Gucci shit? Yeah, but it's sad and that's all I'm saying. Thank you for no, that. No, new Gucci know. shit, new Gucci shit. I wouldn't say it's better than Gucci. No, that's Lions, Gucci. tigers, and bears. No, that's Gucci. It's a, oh, not it's Gucci. A, you know the, the uh... I saw bootleg shoes. I saw the bootleg shoes. No, 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 motherfucker. Ain't nothing bootleg. I make a pretty penny doing stand up comedy, nigga, so I don't have to buy bootleg. Damn. That's for the lesser value, niggas. You hear me? Mm -hmm. You bootleg. think it's bootleg because you won't go get the real shit. I go get the real shit. I buy my Tim's out the mall, not in the middle of the mall, motherfucker. I don't buy my Tim's out the trunk. I saw them with some fake Tim's, bro. No, you didn't. <laughs> 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 Your Tim's be fake. He has some Sean John's boots on. Ah! Ah! What the For Mississippi boy <laughs> coming out of shit, you got me, fam. This nigga said some Sean John boots. Who the fuck was Sean John boots? The nigga P. Diddy said, take that, take that, take that. <laughs> take these boots. Diddy. But at the end I'm of the, not at, wearing no Sean John boots. At the end of the day. All my Tim's got a tree on the side. Matter of fact, these Tim's right here. There you go, bitch. There you go. Oh. Fuck you, man. But at the end of the day, when you with a girl that got less than you, she gonna know how to scrap for you. She gonna know how to do so much things for you. So she I can might. tell. This she is might. your That's topic. A might. This That's is a might. this is your topic. I see because you dug deep, so you fuck with a lot of lesser value chicks than you. Yeah, I love the bro. Cause he ain't shit. shit. I don't want you to think. Bitch with shit three lady. kids, I got you. That nigga barely got a mustache. He ain't shit. Yeah, they I ain't never met a nigga that less of a mustache to me. That, they spray yeah. his mustache on at the barbershop with other niggas' hair. Man, that nigga, that nigga mustache was like pubic hair. I be going, I be going down on the ladies. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get it off. Man, man, everybody know you, you pussy. We damn near twelve episodes in. That nigga ate the wrong pussy. He gave him alopecia on his face. He got a couple on the side of his face. We can pussy sideways. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, this nigga on fire tonight. Well, you must have been watching the video. Oh, this yeah. nigga said they are not gonna keep beating me up on TV. <laughs> you should have used that in your comedy battle. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of comedy battle, he should you should have helped him with his comedy battle. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh shit! This nigga on <laughs> fight. He's eating up. That nigga. A rebound. <laughs> He scored! That's what's up. Uh, Face fast. You gotta more often. Moo cow! Oh, no, that's, 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 that's your drink. That shit like we drink the finer cognacs in life. This is cognac. Take it under the water right here. I like to drink the finest breast milks. You hear me? We yeah. Kavase, Hennessy, Remy drinkers around here. But you hey, you like to experiment with all the cognacs. We the cognac boys. We are supposed to drink all the cognacs that's out here. So Okay, Mucap, you want to invest in us? Damn, what are you saying? Baby? If you want to sponsor us, Mucap, we're okay. down for it. Hey, so we you need to send a video. All day. We need to send Mucap this this episode. We rocking with you, Mucap. <laughs> it's, it's smooth. It's smooth. It smells better than uh, a fat bitch butt that's been sitting on the bus two hours. Yeah. Rest in peace to that nigga Pappy. I just got turned on to your music by this oh, nigga. Oh nigga, we listen, listen. Young Pappy we out of Chicago, I'll fuck with you, bro. Had rappers that, that was getting killed, they was like really hot. I, uh, young Pappy, uh, what's his name? Uh, the Real G Money. Uh, who else? Uh, Run like a hot boy, hot boy, hot boy. Yeah, boy, Young Mozzie. Oh, yeah. Rest in peace, Young Mozzie. Yeah, rest in peace, Young Mozzie. Uh, young, rest in peace, uh, what's the boy's name? Bankroll Fresh. Bankroll Fresh, baby. Fuck with you, nigga. Bankroll. I didn't even listen to Bankroll before. Uh, I only heard one song. After that, after he passed away, bro, I started listening to this shit. I was like, God damn, why? And I don't, I don't know damn, why. Damn, hurt me after. Fuck. I was like, bro, that nigga was good, bro. Was I don't know me, why all black artists get hotter when they die. Like, I because we live in a deaf. Uh, let me let me break this down right here, cause I, I got some deep shit to say. We live in a deaf culture, right? All right, break it down like this. Okay, you got people walking around with a dead dude on a fucking shirt. They shit like R.I.P. Jesus. They got Jesus dead on a shirt, mm -hmm. right? 
Come on, Change man. Like, too. They got they got Jesus tatted on them dead. Like they got a dead like hold this. On, hold on, they got Obama shirts on. Niggas still wearing Obama shirts. They wearing Obama, Obama shirts. But listen, I'm we talking about uh we live in a deaf culture, bro. You you always better after you die. Like people appreciate you after you die. Bernie Mac. Y'all gonna appreciate me while I'm here. I'm yeah. gonna tell you that. I'm gonna be in your face, I'm gonna be on your stages. I'm going to be telling jokes till I check out. But I ain't calling death no time soon. I seen with a lot of black artists, when they talk about death, death seems to find them niggas. Every black artist that ever talked about death, yeah. death around the corner, uh, fuck it, when I die, I want to go to hell, I'm a piece of shit, it ain't hard to fucking tell. Like, quoting these rappers' lyrics, like, I'm not quoting that shit. I'm quoting a long life, a long Outstanding, great comedy career. You, that's what you, I'm quoting. You, you are your thoughts. You know what I'm you saying? You damn right. Like, like whatever you thinking of, that's what the fuck gonna happen to your ass. You feel me? I'm gonna be with nothing but hood rat bitches. Listen, that's why I look you at my life. You be with hood rat bitches, but you been a hood rat nigga. All listen, your life. Mm -hmm. listen. Everything that your perception is 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 your perception, right? Can can, can your but perception you, have two or three wives at the same time? We want to know. I that. mean, if you want two or three wives, and that's what your mind, listen. It's on. It's only. It's only real to yourself, bro. Like I can't tell you it's real. Mm -hmm. I only can tell myself, like, yo, I feel like such stuff. That shit real to me. You feel me? Mm -hmm. it's straight up, like, it's not real until you say it's real. So I can say whatever I want. I can talk to him blue in the face. That's why, I like, when people would hold the whole relationship, like, I don't understand. It's called group think. You know what I mean? Like, I agree with you, bro. Everybody, bro. everybody cannot believe in the same thing because we all think in different my shit. Man, my man said so, some real wait, shit. Wait, wait, now, wait. I want to raise other niggas' kids. Let me say kids. something right quick. Let you know what I'm saying? Don't take that away. Hold on. Let him make, a, let make Listen. this point. Listen. People cannot agree on shit at all. Is that just black people? No, white people. people, period. People, period. Black, white, whatever, whatever, right? But when it come to religion, all of a sudden everybody believe in the same shit. That's no, true. no, no, that's no, no. Brand that's, brand that's, brand. that's group think, bro. That Let me shit. tell you something. That's what we separate as the people. Mm -hmm. Religion is probably one of the highest paid, uh, most profitable things that you can make money off of because the people believe you, they will give you their money. Yeah. And a lot of niggas that's got higher power will lead the people to stress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moo cow, thank you. Moo cow. Appreciate y'all. Whoever sent that bottle of cognac, it's smooth too. It's fucking me up. Yeah, man. We we gonna uh, talk about uh Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade, man, with this mm. ass eating shit. Like, first of all, I didn't know. Uh, well, I did know that women do a lot of freaky shit behind closed doors. What you call ass eating? Eating, licking the motherfucker ass. You know they got a slang for it, right? What is it? Sloppy toppy. Sloppy top. No, they don't. Yeah, that's getting your sloppy. dick sucked. No, 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 no. Stupid. No, you don't know what's like. You're an old nigga. nigga. You're like, old no. Nigga. Tossing your salad is no. in your ass. No, no, no. Hey, sloppy toppy is. Can I explain sloppy toppy? No, 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 nigga. No, you can't. You had the dick challenge wrong. No, no. Sloppy. Yeah, fuck you. Did. I did. I did. You had the dick challenge. Let me get sloppy toppy. That shit was good. I'm earning my shit back. You can't sit in the middle no more. I'm getting my slap back, goddamn. You sloppy toppy. You said some gas shit, and now you can't sit in the middle. Don't let me do my Denzel on this motherfucker. You ain't got a Denzel in you, nigga. Listen, listen, nigga. I'm going to get my Denzel off. That sound just like you. Go ahead. Sloppy toppy. Go ahead, let me tell my I got my nuts up, so I feel like DJ I'm Cat in. shirt wearing that. Well, grab the fucking bottle with me, goddamn. Sloppy toppy is when a girl suck your dick, she waits drool all the way to your balls, to your asshole. She lick the drool off the dick, off the balls, to the ass. Nigga, that's gay. Shut the fuck up, don't say If she went from the oh, tip shit. of your Bro, ass. Oh, that's gay. Yeah, that's that shit, bitch. To the yes. bottom of your asshole. This game and she licking all that shit up. Hey, but nah. I, hey, I got no hey, napkins. That's sloppy bottom to me. Sloppy that's top. Sloppy, that is sloppy bottom. Man, you do you shit. wash your ass before yeah. you leave? Man, no. niggas, niggas don't wash their ass yeah, like that. The fuck I, mean, I do, but I don't wipe it. Wipe she got roaches ass, in her bathroom. Like oh, so you let her eat your ass because she got roaches? No, I'm going her shower because it's some roaches. Yeah. baby roaches. You know, a real man would stop a bitch from eating his ass, right? You know that, right? What a real nigga? But is. check this niggas out. Niggas in jail ain't real men. What the fuck wrong? They getting their ass. You went to jail and got your ass in? That's what you're no, saying. No, I'm saying. I missed something. Hold on, tank stuff. Hey, who might need to put on the car? What the way I, 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 I got a question. I got a question, right? Go wrong. And, and, and I want y'all to, I, I want y'all to answer this shit as, as, as honest as possible, right? If a woman lick your ass, yeah, bro, is that gay? No, it's not. That's something that she designed to do. Would you consider that gay? Be I, plead, honest. I plead the fifth. My I mama did my daddy. Bitches, like that. do what you want to do with your tongue and your mouth. 
Nah. When you fucking with me. You eat Burger King burgers. This my take on it. Like I fought in your mouth, bitch. If a if a woman doing it, if she licking your ass, right? Like, I mean, what goes on behind those doors and shit like that. It's like, gonna come out in an argument at the club. Yeah. You right. That's you right. chillings. You right. Oh, you it's right. gonna come out. If you fucking with Tanisha, Tanisha gonna call your ass out in front of everybody. If you ate Tanisha, you know ass, yeah. Yeah. oh, you out here with these bitches, huh? You went out here with these bitches when you when I was licking your ass, Keep Hey, on. Ron, how many times you got your ass eat, man? Come to the tree. I never got my ass licked. You before. a goddamn lie, man. I oh, haven't. Man. I'm, not, I'm I'm being honest. First, I'm, I'm, I'm this is Professor ass. Ron Don. This nigga is new to all of this shit. How many times you got your ass eat? Let me tell you. No, something. I done. I done my shit. I can count. But I ain't oh, both hands. There's some nasty bitches out here. That's what I want to say. You hear me? If you lick my ass and you're watching this right now, hey, look, I brought your mama a Christmas gift, didn't I? That nigga had that same <laughs> head on while I was getting his ass. Hey, now listen, like, listen. My ass was wiggling. That nigga was putting that nigga with the hat on. Like. Nah, I'm bullshit. That ain't nothing I try to force you young ladies <laughs> to do, but if you, if you drunk, sucking dick and you hey, decide chick, to... Yo, chicks is freaky than a mom. I'm not going to stop you. I'm going to let you keep doing your duty. I so don't she don't get your... I don't know what the fuck come out of that. So what you, what you do when you get your ass... What you get your ass at? Okay. Come? Sometimes you get peer pressure. Some girl like, damn, I suck your dick. I lick your ball. Shit, why you scared me put my tongue in that area? And I'm like, man, why not? Let's do something different. So you got your ass licked before? So you've been fucked before? Yeah. Yeah, all done. What, what bitch licked your ass, bro? <laughs> You see that shit? First of all, I'm looking at your face. No, I said, I'm telling you, 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 i am telling you 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 i and I said, baby, why I can't allow you to do this, baby? But I said, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? She got three kids. She came from poverty. You eat a lot of ass? <laughs> no, I don't do that, baby. I, he I do something. Do you eat ass? No, man. You never had ass. Ain't ass. Ain't never He's ass. a piece of never. shit. Never. He get drunk. He he on your ass. kids, you never ate ass. He I ain't got ate no kids. Ass. I, don't mind. I don't got no kids. It's like I'm single out there. What you talking about, man? Kids. Man. Just because you're single don't mean you ain't got no kids. kids you man. fuck raw a lot, bro. I, I gave you. A, I slid a rubber under the door one night when you was with that nasty bitch, I and I saw the rubber slide back under. I the gave door. that to you. I hey, ain't, hey, I ain't got hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So the, the, the fact that Gabrielle Union licks ass. Ain't no wrong with that. She hold on, wait, wait. Most yeah, she's fine. Fuck. Listen, I, I love Gabrielle team. Union, bro. Listen. I will put my ass in Gabrielle Union face. Hey, I let, I let, I am listen. That's why Dwayne yeah, Wade coming off the bench right now. Yeah, he coming out. the Oh, that nigga on fire. Huh? He on the bench. He's right? eating up. That no, man, that nigga I'm on walking, fire. That nigga walking out that bitch with a Charlie horse every game. <laughs> <laughs> nigga Dwayne Wade. Oh, shit, I got a Charlie horse. That nigga got the some ground, capris I can't on. catch no goddamn alley hoops off the backboard. Dwayne Wade got some capris on because she licked his ass too good. Yeah, that so nigga, nigga my he knew he wearing some low ass pants. Yeah, I know, man. And he wears some no name brand shoes. You got to get them in China. If she licked your ass too good, you got to wear a panty line. Damn. Ah, 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 you know, None of that shit. Like I'm, I be like, like having, like you know what I'm saying. Like, That's I too much work. Dominated. Me, I may look skinny, but I'm strong. Hey, listen. Hey, all the women that eat ass, me. chime in to the Cognac Boys podcast, man. Cognac Boys three at Gmail, and let us know if you eat ass or if you tried it before. If you just stuck your tongue on it like a nine volt battery, just chime in and let the <laughs> Cognac Boys know you are a potential ass eater, and we will hook you up with somebody that will let you eat their ass. Mississippi boy like his Leave ass. Leave your phone number. Leave your phone number, leave your Gmail so we can talk. That nigga put his legs ass. up when he... Yeah, he like for you to indulge in his ass. Yeah. Listen, listen. He want you to get an ass and get you out. He slice his ass. Damn them Ooh, ladies. Leave your Gmail, ah, your phone ah, number. Ah, ah, hey, be quiet. We gotta get the ladies Gmail phone number if you eat them eating ass. Eating ass. Brother, I need this. If you eat ass, ladies, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? God made you in a different way than any other girl. Okay, I continue. It made you with the fat tongue of a retarded kid. And your, and your, and your tongue needs some toilet paper on it. <laughs> the difference between black clubs and white clubs. What's the difference? Uh, uh, black
Okay. We party different. White people shits, if they support and they spend a lot of money mm -hmm. at they shit, they overcharge us in taxes. The hood black clubs I'm explaining to you, they hold a line for five hours. Okay. Nobody they, be in there when you get in there. Hell no. Nah. And, the, and the niggas that broke, we waiting the free line. Like, no, why this shit taking so long? And the security yeah, trying to throw clubs. you everywhere. Like, what is you doing? Let Where me, are you going? Hey, now let me finish yeah. that. Now the white clubs, they let you in. They don't even you. You can bring your pistol, your drugs, and everything in that motherfucker. They don't even check you for it. You can have a bottle in your pocket. This is some smooth, great content. And you know yeah, what I'm saying? Good, right? And then, I rock with you. Now, and then let's let's finish with the white clubs. You can fill up a girl, touch her, whatever you want to touch her. The scared don't act crazy with black girls. As soon as you put your hand up underneath the pussy, you gone too far. Then if you uh, also go to the bar and you don't got all your money, they will get they will throw you out the club in the black club. The black hey, club, do me a favor, man. What? Stop using this podcast as your rape uh outcry. Like, I got Bill Cosby jello shots, ladies. Nah, nigga, I, I I I told you can't leave that nigga alone with the camera. We let that nigga, that nigga done took us down the rape road. I'm glad I looked back over there. That nigga be breathing while he touch bitch. He be like, <sighs> I know yeah, that's a fervor. A nigga breathing while he rubbing his oh, head. Fuck, and matter of fact, it bring us to a good topic. That watered down look of bullshit that y'all doing. Like oh, niggas yeah. don't know they ain't drinking Hennessy. Oh, Stop yeah. that bullshit. I'm going to start calling you clubs this. out. Yeah, when they give me fake liquor. That shit I know never taste like once, this. Once I get back to the club, I know when I'm about to throw up and shit, I'm like, damn, they got me. He be like, damn, they got you for real. I said, I told you when I hit it in the club, I knew they stepped on the shit. He be like, man, they ain't, that ain't, it tastes good to me. I was like, man, I know stepped on liquor when I taste it. You hear me? All you clubs stop doing that bullshit. That shit with them $2 Tuesdays uh, on, on Camp Creek. I you can put a stamp on it and call it Blue Dog shit for all I can. But you don't call it Hennessy, yeah, Remy, or Cavassier. Hey. Or oh, Moo Cow, motherfucker. Oh, huh? You call it what Throwing the fuck it, it is. When we stand Bottom man, shelf. So what you, what, you, what you call it? Fine, boys, man. Sponsored tonight by Moo Cow, man. I'm Moo comedian Cow. Fredo Davis. I'm Ron the Dog. I'm my damn father. I'm Mississippi boy. Him and that I coat. This hey, give me this I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> I tried to be a thug one Yo, time. Nigga, this hard bottle. Man, thank y'all for tuning in tonight, man. It's been great. Um, this has been a special episode dedicated to the police. And notice we didn't say fuck the police not once. Nah, we, we just want them. you to do a better judge of character when it comes to black people. We want y'all to police y'all selves like y'all police us. You feel me? And I'm like, I don't always pack a pistol, but when I do pack a pistol, I'm drinking Dos Equis. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Bro, that shit ain't make no sense. And then us, also, we got a tour going on. <laughs> Tell about our tour coming on November the 11th. Yeah. November the 11th, we're in Augusta, yeah, Georgia, man. Icon Sports Bar and Grill. Check us out on Instagram at Cognac Boys at Mr. Davis Inc. Ronda Don seven one on Instagram. Mississippi Boy twenty three eighty three Instagram. Also give me on um, your Snapchat. Mississippi Boy twenty three eighty three. Also follow the Cognac tune in. Boys. Follow us, man, cause this nigga trying to get some pussy. Most hated.